Okay, we've allowed this shell to dry a couple days. It's it's uh, probably sucked up a little bit, but as you can see, the surface is extremely rough. It's surprisingly rough, actually. And what we're going to do is we're going to level all of this out. It has to be completely smooth. We're going to sand it until all the shiny is gone. And how we're going to sand it is with a Matco dual action sander here. And we got this one set up with a foam pad. And this is a finished sander for especially for sanding clear coat. I uh, know a lot of you guys probably won't have access to that kind of stuff. So you're perfectly capable of using, like say, starting out with 500 wet. This is just a 3M wet or dry sandpaper. You can get it at any auto supply store. You just fold it in half, tear it, mount it to a sanding block, and you can use water and block this whole thing smooth until there's no shiny spots. But you can do that instead of using this finished sander. Uh, I'm going to start out, I'm going to try 1000 grit and I'm using 3M P1000 grit and I'm going to try this 1000 grit. It's probably not going to be coarse enough. Uh, this is a finishing grit here. Uh, what we're going to do is try to take it all the way down and you c it would be nice to have probably say maybe an 800 grit but it, it's just a little more expense. So I'm going to start with a thousand if this doesn't take it down quick enough. You could possibly hit it with 320 but I think that's a little too coarse and as I stated previously this step is also very critical. You do not want to go through this clear coat anywhere whatsoever or you're going to get into the stain. You're going to have a blemish. You do not want that. So we'll go ahead and see if we can Saying this with a thousand. seems to be doing okay. One thing you're going to notice here, you can see how dull this is, the finish is right here, but yet you still see shiny spots. Over here you see a lot more shiny than dull. And everywhere you see the shiny, those are the low spots, those all have to come out to where the entire shell is dull. And once again the trick is to get down to where there's no shiny, but yet you don't go through the clear to the stain. So I'm going to sand on this for a while. I'll get it a little closer and then we'll kick the camera back on and show you what it looks like. Okay, after we got the sanding with the 1000, it was taking a lot of time to cut down. Uh, well, once again, I just wanted to show you here. This is what it looks like when you first start sanding. You'll see all the low areas. You'll even see a lot of those dimples there, not dimples, they actually stick out and that's just part of the grain sticking up from the wood and not a big deal, you just want all of that sanded out and you can see the shiny area coming through and that's all low spots and then I'll show you on around here this area that I've sanded is completely smooth and no shiny spots you might have a few here and there, little tiny ones no big deal but as long as the majority of it is smooth and one way to tell if you're getting into the stain is to take just some type of liquid it could be 
water, it could be a solvent, it could be alcohol. And I'm just going to use a little acrylic solvent here. And I'm going to spray it down, get it wet, and then just take a rag and wipe it. Just wipe it like that. And then check your rag for any purple. If you have no purple, you haven't gone through the clear yet. So that's a good sign. Uh, that just shows that we have it down smooth. We haven't gone through the clear yet. So we're going to leave that as it is. Uh, as I stated, it didn't cut too fast with 1000. I was afraid we used too much sandpaper. So I went ahead and switched to 320. And using 320, I'm using a hard pad here rather than the soft foam sponge on it and using 320 gold and with this stuff here it's more aggressive definitely more aggressive than 1000 you got to move really quick with it when you sand uh, but so far this has been sanded with 320 and I haven't gone through yet I'm going to go around the entire shell get all the shiny spots off get it down to a smooth shell and once that's done I'm going to switch back to the foam pad like this it's a soft foam and use the 1000 and then just go over the 320 just to smooth it out just a little bit not much at all it's going to be a real quick sand on that with the 1000 and then we'll be ready for a filler clear coat giggity 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 goo stick around